Hello guys, Sanjay here and in this video I am going to show you guys how to root the Redmi Note 3 which is present over here and Xiaomi has added new security features with the MIUI 7 or the all devices which are launched in 2016 so these devices have locked bootloader and extra security check whenever you try to root the device so first of all in order to follow this method you need to have an unlocked bootloader and if you have not unlocked the bootloader of redmi note 3 yet then there will be a first link in the description box below which will navigate you to my guide where i have explained how to unlock bootloader of redmi note 3 and yes, unlock bootloader is completely necessary for this. And as I said earlier, extra security features have been added to MIUI. So because of which we need to flash a modified boot image onto the phone. And this boot image works for particular build number only. And as the build number changes or as the device receives OTA updates, it may not work or uh, it may break Wi-Fi connectivity or something like that. So make sure that your build number is similar to the boot image which you are flashing and uh, all the links and everything will be in the description box below and yes make sure that you read the description box at least once before you root with this method so after this huge long intro let's get to the procedure where i'll show you how to root the device so first of all, we need to boot into the fast boot mode and in order to do that, switch off your device and after the device is switched off, hold the volume down button and the power button together and after you do that, the device will boot into the fast boot mode. Now it's time to attach the USB cable to your PC and to your phone and now all the work is on your PC. So as you can see, there are three files over here or you can say two files and one folder. The first folder which is present over here is the ADB folder. The second file is the boot image file or the modified boot image file which is a must have. And the third file is the TWRP recovery file which we are going to flash on the device. And now copy both this boot file and the TWRP file into the ADB folder. And to open up the command window in the same folder, you need to hold shift button on your keyboard. Yes, hold shift button on your keyboard and do not leave it and at the same time press right click on your mouse and when you do this you will see something as open command window here and now write a command that is fastboot devices it will show your device over here and if your device is not shown over here that means the device is not in fastboot mode or the device is not yet detected by your pc and these are the two commands which we need in order to flash the boot image or the modified boot image and the twrp image file so to flash the boot image file use the first command that is fastboot flash boot space boot.img simply copy and paste this command and hit enter the modified boot image will be flashed and the last part that is boot.img part can be different if the boot image file has some different name but i would suggest you to rename it to boot so that it is easy for you to write the command also and now it's time to flash the twrp recovery so to flash the twrp recovery we need to write this command that is fastboot flash recovery space twrp.img and after that's done hit enter so the twrp recovery is also flashed now and now we need to boot into the twrp recovery mode and in order to do that uh, do not switch on the device yet i would suggest you to hold the volume up button and the power button together as long as you see the mi logo and once you see the mi logo over here leave these buttons and the device will boot into the twrp recovery and if you see this window then select swipe to allow modifications Now select install, select the super SU zip file which we had copied earlier into the internal storage of the device and the super SU zip file will get installed in just matter of seconds and after that's done you just need to reboot the system so hit on reboot system over here and the device will boot into the system now. So guys as you can see the device has booted successfully into the system now and now let's check if the root permissions are enabled or not and once you open up the root checker application hit on verify root as you can see over here congratulations root access has been enabled for this device this means we have rooted the redmi note 3 successfully and guys i'll mention this once again go through the description box once before you follow this method so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and let's see if we can reach triple three likes on this video so yes don't forget to do that and if your device is running on marshmallow then the procedure might be a little different i'm not saying it will be completely different but it will be a little different 
uh, I will update the description box according to that. So do not forget to go through the description box below. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And yes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So bye guys. Thank you.